mucho tiempo para esto. Now I break your back. Everything I know about the Marvel Universe, I know because I beat it up with Mega Man, Morrigan, Tron, Bond, and Phoenix Wright. That's my point of contact. By comparison, I came into Injustice with only the most passing knowledge of DC Comics, which I'm to understand is itself a redundancy, and a long since lapsed grasp of the mechanics of the Mortal Kombat family. Injustice didn't care. It sat there in its self-confidence, knowing that it's a quality fighting game with an intriguing storyline. I just had to open my mind enough to realize it. I had to discard my death grip on the Street Fighter slash KOF slash Guilty Gear quarter circlery I know and love. I had to care about these characters I'd only tangentially heard of. And in the end, frankly, it wasn't all that difficult. My palm de frite. I knew that ape Destro couldn't kill you. Too bad for you. An act of chaotic super villainry, like, say, the Joker detonating a nuclear weapon in Metropolis, is exactly the kind of thing every superhero aims to stop. And sure enough, every one of them tried to stop it. Problem is, you get that much awesomeness into a condensed area and things start to get a bit wonky. Extra-dimensional chasms may be opened, a dystopian alternate universe might be encountered, friends might be enemies, enemies might be friends, and you yourself might fight you yourself all paradox-like. Comic Books 101, really. What matters is the action scenes, played today by head-to-head -to -head 2D fights, are freaking awesome. A couple things have changed, but the basic just is the same it's ever been. Beat up on your opponent until their health bar depletes. But as this is part of the Mortal Kombat lineage, as opposed to the Japanese style more popular in the genre, there's more directional inputs and less stick-spinning circle fractions. And then, just for good measure, there's a whole extra layer of complexity, like follow-up attacks on your superpowers, really fleshed-out character-specific mechanics that make Order Soul and Zappa look like chumps, and crap on the ground or in the vicinity that can be utilized in your assault. And that's where the game sold me. Yes, in competitive situations, you're probably not going to want wild shifts in terrain or grenades popping up on the ground, but you have the option to have those things, and I think it makes for the kind of wild experience that befits such heroic characters. Over-the-top, crazy attacks make a game like Injustice that much more entertaining. And if you can do it while retaining some semblance of balance, so much the better. Add in a solid roster out of the box, with the now obligatory DLC fighters coming soon, an extensive mission mode that rewards technical accomplishment, and what amounts to a bajillion or so arcade-style challenges, you might just get me to buy a comic book. Despite the fact that, you know, print is dead.